G'day guys, it's a beautiful evening for some lure fishing for Murray Cod and Yellow Belly. It's a little bit windier than I'd like, but there's not much I can do about that. Let's just go flick some lures and catch some fish. I'm starting off with this orange and yellow HC Lures spinnerbait for this evening's session. The water's dropped about a foot by the look of it, but it's looking nice and clear. Probably the clearest I've seen it in about six months. It's looking good. I've got a good feeling. I reckon something just stirred up the mud in front of me there. That's interesting. Something's followed my lure in, but I'm not sure on which cast. Oh, bumped over a snag. I thought I had a touch. Getting a bit excited here. <laughs> Just want to bring a cast in between these two stumps here. It looks like premium fish habitat if I've ever seen it. I can see it. Sight fishing for Murray Cod, eh? See if I can get him. He's just there. Landing him's going to be tricky if I can hook him. But he's right there next to that log. Where'd he go? I can't see him anymore. He was right there. Oh, what a spew. It's not often you see a cod. He's still there. There's a boil. Because the cod just sitting there. Why won't he take my spinnerbait? Maybe he doesn't want this colour. I don't know. Maybe I've spooked him. He's still sitting there though. He's making boils. He's still just down there next to that log. He won't take my spinnerbait though. He knows it's not food, I think. Maybe he's been caught on a spinnerbait recently or something. I'm not sure. But I've clipped on a Berkeley Cull Shad 6 that I got out of the McCredden's booster box. Just something a bit more natural. See if I can tempt him to take this. Well, for whatever reason, that cod wouldn't take any of my lures. Maybe he saw me coming barreling down the hill down there and I've spooked him. Anyway, I've ended up on this HC Lures Green and Black Spinnerbait. I've actually caught a cod on this very spinnerbait before, so we'll go with that for a while. Well, I've been fishing about two hours now, and apart from that one cod that I saw with my naked eye, it's been very, very quiet. So I've made a change. I've gone away from the spinnerbaits. I'm going this pink and purple old mate. Go to a diving lure and see if I can make something happen. Got him. There we go. I only put this on two minutes ago. <laughs> oh, lovely cod. Come on, get out from the snags. He's got me wrapped around something under the water there. I can still see him. Oh, no, he's got me snagged down there. Get me off the snag, please. Uh, let me dump my bag. See if I can get him off the snag. I'll go for a swim. I don't know how deep the water is here. I'm going to find out. I don't even know if he's still on there. I can't see him anymore. He is still on there and he's off the snag, yes. I didn't even have to swim that far. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now I'm down at his level, he's giving me a nice bath. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Uh oh, I'm slipping. Oh, he's giving me all sorts of trouble. 
There you go. A change to a diving lure has done the trick. Come here, mate. I want to measure on you if I can. Yeah, he looks well hooked. So I'm going to get out the measure mat and that while he's still in the water, while he can still breathe. Hopefully he doesn't snag me again though. <laughs> Give that a wet. Uh oh, nope, don't you do that. <laughs> Alright, oh, mate. You get the lip grips. Actually, I'll check I'm recording very quickly. Alright, I was indeed recording. Get the lip grips on. It's been a very quiet session until I made a lure change. I just didn't want spinner baits today. Come here, mate. Alright, lip grips are on. Oh, let's have a guess. It'd be a legal cod. I'd put him around 57 centimeters. Let's find out. We'll get him on the mat pretty quickly and then back in the water. I need some extra line here. Oh, I'm in all sorts of trouble. There we go. Plenty of line. Let's have a look. Oh, he's 60. 61. You bloody beautiful cod. Now my flies are in my other pocket. Oh, if I can get them. <laughs> calm down, calm down. You've only got one hook left. There we go. One lovely 61 centimetre Murray cod. You yeah. bloody ripper. <laughs> Alright mate. In you go. And off you go. Ready? Oof. See you later. There he goes. You beauty, I'm on the board. Only took two hours. <laughs> and there you go, for some reason they're just not eating spinnerbaits tonight. But changing to this pink and purple old mate diving lure did the trick within about four casts. <laughs> I had six touches from one fish in front of this snag pile on cod opening. See if whatever lives there wants the old mate. Yes, he does indeed. <laughs> oh, I lost him though. You bugger. Yes, he does indeed. <laughs> oh, I lost him though. He wasn't as big as the last cod, but he was still a decent size. Probably high 40s. Oh, you mongrel. He still lives there. <laughs> it was worth another shot. Oh, goodness me. I doubt he'll come back now after that fuss. You bugger. I've definitely cracked the code. This is the lure they want. Check it out. These are cow prints, obviously. Cow footprints, hoof prints. Over here, you've got a couple of little wallaby prints. See how they're long with, you can see the toes in the front end of them. But I've found these ones. And I can't figure out for the life of me what would cause those. I'm pretty sure we don't have emus around this area. Anyone got any ideas what would cause uh, footprints like that? I have no idea. Well, we're into the golden hour, the last hour of daylight. So I'm going to switch it up to surface lures. I've retired the old mate for the evening. And I'm going to tie on this chase bait smuggler in white cockatoo colour or pattern or whatever you want to call it. So I'm actually going to have a few sporadic casts, but I'm actually working my way back through the section I just fished. Because I want to go back to where I was fishing with the spinner bait earlier. Because they didn't seem to want that, so it's pretty much virgin water for this surface lure to go through. I've used this uh, smuggler a few times, but I've never caught a fish on it. Not yet. Well, sadly, there was no love on the surface lure. I've worked my way all the way back to the car. I'm very happy, though. I caught one Murray Cod, almost two. The other one got off that was a bit smaller than the first one, but it still would have been nice to get him in. But overall, I'm pretty happy. I cracked the code. I figured out they wanted, they either wanted pink and purple or they wanted crankbaits. It was one or the other. Maybe it was both. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. See you in the next one.